Hello everyone, I don't know if you guys go on TikTok, but there was this video that I saw about this girl who made paper mushrooms. She literally just wets paper and then like just smushes the paper into a mushroom and then paints them. And she got a lot of hate about how much she prices her mushrooms. And I think they're like nine, ten dollars each. That is like nothing personally, that's what I think. Well, first of all, you should never question an artist's pricing because you don't know how much time they put in it. But I want to try out the challenge that she made for everyone where you make a paper mushroom and then you'll realize how long it actually takes to make one. So here is the video for reference. I definitely feel bad for her because she did not deserve all that hate and let's get started making her paper mushroom. So she uses toilet paper so I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl of water and just smush some toilet paper in there. So I have a plate of water and some toilet paper, like four squares, I don't expect to be needing that much. And let's get started with wetting it. Just wet it. I think you have to rip it apart or something. I'm gonna glue in my water. So in the video, she said the mushroom has to be at least one inch. I don't know if she means like one inch of the mushroom part or one inch tall. The first thing we're gonna have to do is make the mushroom hat the top part. So we're gonna go ahead and just shape it. So I have this glass pane here from a picture frame. And all we have to do is just grab our wad of toilet paper and shape it into a little fat dewdrop on top of the glass pane um okay this is very gross i actually have no idea how she makes the texture of the mushroom smooth mine is very chunky right now i'm gonna go ahead and layer a piece of toilet paper on top maybe that will help maybe i can make it thicker okay that does smooth it out a little bit okay well i made the little mushroom hat part and it is one inch, so, and it's a little bit like a dew drop. So I'm gonna go ahead, place this on the corner, and I'm gonna start making the stem of the mushroom. Okay, so I got another plate of water, and now I will put some more toilet paper in here. Um, I don't know if you're, if you're supposed to shred it, but I feel like shredding it is not the smartest thing to do, because what you can do, do is just roll it up, get it wet, and here is the wet toilet paper. But I will do the same thing I did for the mushroom top and just wrap a dry piece of toilet paper around it so it'll be at least a little bit smooth. So little pointy stem right here. And then I'll make a little hole in the center. I'm just gonna take this random tool I found, scribble around in the center of the bottom of the mushroom cap. And then I will take the mushroom stem, stick it inside. Okay, well, here is the mushroom. And then lastly, for the eye pin, I'm gonna have to make it by myself because my screw-on eye pins probably won't be able to hold this. I think I'm just gonna leave these two to dry by themselves separately and then glue them together after I'm done. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your nose plier, round nose plier, Take round nose pliers and clamp it down at the tip of the thick piece of wire you're using. And then just wrap the wire around that area of your plier. And right now it's a curve like this, right? So what you're gonna do is take your round nose plier, put it right here, then you just bend it right back so it's straight. And then I have a little thing at the bottom that I just cut off with my wire cutters. But if you don't have it, then you're done. And what I will do is take the mushroom cap and stick it right in the middle. I don't want to stab myself. So. And then you might as well prepare a hole inside your stem so that it will easily go inside after the paper has been dried. You will wait for both of these things to dry and then I will show you guys how to assemble these three things and paint them. So I might just heat gun it to make it dry faster. Hopefully it dries fast. So oh, I'm back. I heat gun these for some time, but um, they are taking forever to dry. So this is dry enough. I would say it's 70% dry. 
It's pretty good enough for me. And now we're gonna go ahead and assemble these three pieces. I'm gonna take some super glue and put it on the top of the stem. And I'm gonna stick it on top of the mushroom cap. So this is good. We're gonna put some super glue in the hole we made earlier. And we're going to stick in our eye pin. Yes. And now I'm going to go ahead and prepare the paints to paint this. And it's going to be the standard red with white dots and a little light brown on the stem and the gills. This is going to be our paint plate. Okay, so we have our colors. So the first thing we're going to do is make a very light brown for the bottom and the stem. Let me put some yellow in too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint. Oh, this is a good color. I'm done painting this part, and now what I'm going to do is take dark brown and just paint little spikes coming from the center on the bottom for the gills. So this is the bottom of my mushroom. I hope it looks mushroomy enough for the bottom of a mushroom. I know the bottom part isn't supposed to be cute, but the top part is gonna be real cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna start painting the top part, which is gonna be red. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now it's time to paint the white dots. So for the dots, I'm gonna take a dotting tool and dip it in the white paint. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. So we're gonna take some white and then see if it sticks onto this paint. Ah, it's pretty good. I right, again with this bigger one. So I am done painting the mushroom. Um, I do not think it looks very good, especially compared to polymer clay. This is so much harder to work with. You should go with polymer clay because it looks more professional, less bumpy, and much easier to work with. This is a very interesting thing to make things out of. So this is the mushroom piece. As you can see, paper makes a very textured surface to paint on. So I'm gonna go ahead and glaze this with UV resin and we're gonna see how this will look. So this is the final glazed mushroom. After glazing with UV resin, it looks so much smoother. Here is the bottom, still crusty, but also smooth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you really want to try this out, it is pretty difficult to work with, but it's definitely something fun you can do. If you guys do make this, I hope you guys enjoy making things out of paper in this wet paper way. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.